Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballo here at MSG Training Center with Langston Galloway fresh off the All-Star break. First, we have to get back to the All-Star. Uh, you attended all the events. Uh, how was that for you? Oh, man, it was a lot of fun. Uh, just uh, just enjoying it. Uh, first time being at the All-Star game and uh, being at all the events. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be there. What stood out? You know, we saw you Saturday night and we were just talking about the dunk contest. Yeah. Was that one of the highlights of the, the weekend event? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Zach Levine, he put on a show and uh, I think he really revitalized uh, the whole dunk contest. And then Steph Curry with his three-point shooting. I mean, it, it, was, it was a great weekend and uh, it was a great Saturday night that, uh, that brought, brought the fans back. Is it a fun time for players to just kind of get with each other outside of the game? And I, I know you guys got to have friends around the league and just enjoy your time watching what they do best on the floor as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a chance to catch up with a few guys I played against and a couple guys uh, that I've grown up with, um, uh, guys from Baton Rouge as well. So, I mean, uh, it was good get a chance to talk to them and uh, just fill out what they're thinking and, uh, and going moving forward from here. And uh, it was a good chance to just see them and uh, see what they could uh, give me some critiques about. Any chance you can pull off anything <laughs> like Zach Levine did? Not like Zach Levine, <laughs> but uh, I have my own style, so uh, maybe one day I'll I try it out, but not right now. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm yeah, going to hold you yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about the Sunday's game, yeah. and I've talked to young players before about seeing that in person, a taste of what goes on for that weekend, and then really using that as motivation moving forward. What did you see out of that game and seeing some of the superstars and how they interact throughout that weekend and, and maybe what's the next goal for you? I mean, uh, the whole aspect of it is just to, to build it up to that. I mean, the guys putting a lot of hard work that were out there. And uh, I mean, they're all, all stars so for a reason. I mean, they uh, play well during the season. And uh, like I said, I just want to one day get the opportunity to try to play well for this team and, and try to help us uh, win some games. And maybe I'll get an opportunity to go to the All-Star game. It would be great to see in the uh, marquee showcase event on Sunday. Uh, talking a little bit about Carmelo Anthony, got the news yesterday that he will be out for the remainder of the season. You've played with him and without him. How does that change not only your approach as a, as a guard, a point guard on this team, but what you guys have to accomplish now that he will not be with you the rest of the year? Uh, I mean, like we've been doing, just keep playing hard and, uh, and just go out there and have fun. I mean, um, with him being there, without him being there, I mean, uh, we're going to go out there, play hard, and, uh, and just have fun, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Is there a, a point where you have to be a little bit more aggressive knowing, you know, about 24 points is out of the lineup that you guys got to increase at least your productivity from an offensive standpoint? Um, it's pretty much a, a, a team aspect. I mean, uh, everybody's going to pitch up uh, their, their offense and, and their defense. And, uh, and that's what's going to help us uh, build as a team and grow moving forward. So it's, it's definitely good and bad at the same time. But uh, we're just going to uh, pray for Melo to, to, to get a, a speedy recovery and, um, and just keep moving forward from here. Now, I know you're a sports fan. You follow all sports pretty closely. The trade deadline comes around. We know it's going to hit here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Do you pay attention to what's going on around the league? Uh, I mean, I, I've been seeing a few of the, the movements. Um, can't really pay attention to it just because, uh, I mean, I'm a rookie. I mean, if I get moved or not, I mean, hey, it's, it's all in the cars of, of other people. I'm just uh, just continuing to what I've been doing and uh, just work hard in, in the gym and then uh, whatever happens, happens. But is it interesting to see maybe where some other guys are moving and how teams are going to change that you could possibly face? Definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, you see the, the different guards that you'll your face um, on different teams, and it, and it helps out different teams. So it would be, uh, be a fun experience to play against them and, uh, and see how the, the, the league changes from here. All right, you got the heat coming up. It sounds like Dwayne Wade might play in that contest. What are your thoughts on uh, facing off against a team that, you know, in the past been a rivalry kind of game, a little bit different with you guys, and, and they're kind of trying to make a, a, a push here to the playoffs. How do you see that contest unfolding? Uh, it'll be uh, definitely a physical game. Uh, when we played them down in Miami, it was a physical game, and um, we, we were up early, uh, let them come back at the, towards the end. The crowd got in the game. So uh, we're going to try to do the same thing, try to get up early and, uh, and try to hold on to the lead this time. And, uh, and just go out there, like I said, play hard and just have some fun and, and everything will turn out well. You know, you're the last man in the gym. You itching to get back on the floor? I mean, oh. I know it's a little break here, but it seems like you're ready to roll. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely excited. Uh, this break definitely did me well. Um, got a chance to get away from the game, just, just watch all the events. And then uh, I'm just excited to get back on the court tomorrow and play. All right, Langston, I always appreciate your time and insight, and maybe we'll get a glimpse of some dunks here in the future. Maybe, maybe. <laughs>